at so far, Mother Nature's blessed us with 64 inches of snow. But what we're looking at over the next 96 hours or so is anywhere between, I've seen 45 up to 100 inches of snow, which will just set it up. Major storm systems. So it's going to be a very busy week. Look at Donna Summit, 80 to 100 inches of snowfall possible. Truckee up to four feet. Kingvale up to 100 inches of snowfall. Blue Canyon can see up to 80 inches, all to 12 to 18. 60% of average for this time of year. It's great news. Yeah, so we got a little stuck. As the snow started to melt, the uh, mud underneath that snow became really soupy, and it was just difficult to get up to the very top peaks of that, this trail. So we ended up turning around after several tries. We tried, and uh, end, ended up turning out to be the uh, number two spot that we went to. It was uh, actually really cool, so stay tuned. I'm gonna set him down there. Hold on. That's probably good right there. Only one else in the woods. Bigger fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Perfect. How's it taste? Mmm. The potato needs a little bit more cooking. Just a little bit. It's good. Steak's good? Uh huh. Let me try it. Grab me that piece. Oh, yeah. It's done. Mm hmm. It's like a hobo, hobo dinner. <laughs> but it's really good. This is why I love this place. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the camera, but this, where we're 
parked and set up camp is basically what they call the locals call the top of the world and you can see the whole California Valley floor and over a hundred miles of landscape towards the coastal mountain range right now we are at the Sierra Nevada mountain range over there is the coastal mountain range way out there good morning so I just woke up it's about 8 30 and um, I went to look on the panel for the diesel heater and it's been running for about 10 and a half hours that's pretty awesome my temperature in this tent is 79 degrees as you can see 79 degrees and yeah we've been running it for about 10 hours i felt like i had a really good night's sleep and it pretty much stayed warm it's 36 degrees outside and it's 79 degrees at the tent so that's really awesome absolutely zero moisture on the inside of this tent which is a great great thing um no extra work having to clean the inside of the tent um hayden how how do you feel how how, how well did you sleep how do you feel? You I felt pretty good. You feel pretty good? Mm -hmm. Were you warm most of the night? Yeah. Were you, did you get cold at all? Nope. No? Okay, good. So yeah, the heater is, I love it. I love this thing. Super cozy all, all night long. All right, so let's uh, uh, start cleaning things up in here and then we'll go downstairs and I'll show you the fuel cell and the battery generator. All right, so I'm gonna be cooking up a little bit of a hobo breakfast too. I got some herbs. Some seasonings. Good? There you are. Alright, now you can get it. <clears throat> Breakfast is almost done. You good? Uh-huh. It's so good. We just got done eating breakfast. It was really good, very delicious. And um, we're getting ready to pack up the diesel heater and get things um, packed up back on the Jeep, close the tent, and then hit the road. But before that, I wanna talk to you a little bit about the diesel heater, give you a small little update. So as you can see right here, the uh, battery life indicator, we only used one bar last night. So that was about 10 hours of use. The next thing I wanna talk about is the little diesel heater. So um, a, a few little modifications that I did to the diesel heater um, before uh, the last time you guys saw us use it um, was I extended the thermostat controller. As you saw earlier, that was in the tent. That made a huge difference because now it's able to um, uh, be in the heated space where it will tell you the actual ambience of the space that it's heated. So this thing can throttle way down at the lowest temperature setting. But moving along, um, as you can see the fuel sites right here, we only used about half a tank and I had probably filled it up to about right here. So we used from about right here to here on uh, the fuel. So I would say about maybe a, a little over a third um, just under a half of a tank last night. So if we do stay a couple of nights, I'm most likely going to bring some extra diesel and a, another power generator is just as a backup. And then I also want to start doing sol solar with this power generator so we can um, charge it while not in use. Um, so that's pretty much the update. We had a great night's sleep. It's, it maintained about 75 to 79 most of the night. And uh, yeah, that's my latest update on the diesel heater. I think we're going to end the video here. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to ask me that in the comments box below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Peace out. Bombs away. <laughs> Snow fight. I can make it all the way to the city. Uh huh. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I hit your bullets. <laughs>